Hello from Geneva. I'd like to greet all of you LWF staff on this occasion of the World Humanitarian Day. I'd like to greet you whether you're regional staff, national staff or international staff. There are almost 6,000 of us globally all around the world and we come from many backgrounds, faiths and cultures working together to serve those most in need. In the context of the situation of the world today, where there are almost 60 million refugees on the move. And with fears that this situation may get worse and certainly will be with us for a long time to come, World Service remains committed to serving the displaced and refugees globally, according to the mandate given to us by Lutheran churches worldwide, no matter where these people are, with no discrimination. In this vein, our work has expanded and grown over the past years, at the rate of about 10% each year, with new country programs, new emergency operations being opened, ensuring that we remain relevant and address all of these new crises globally. We also work in many places that are not in the media. I would like especially to thank you, my colleagues, all of you for the work you do, especially those of you who live in hardship places, far away from family and friends, in extreme and often dangerous conditions. I'd especially like to mention our staff in countries such as South Sudan, Myanmar, Ethiopia, Kenya, Central African Republic and Mauritania. We know and appreciate the commitment of each one of you and thank God for all the great colleagues we have in World Service. We also know the security challenges that have been getting worse every year for humanitarian workers globally. It's a subject we take very seriously in World Service. For all our staff, whether they're international, national or regional staff, we've recently placed increasing emphasis and resources into improving our capacity to deal with the de deteriorating security situation increasing our efforts in training, risk assessment, investing intentionally in ensuring that we remain as safe as possible and that we've done what can be done to improve our safety and security in difficult situations. Finally, I'd like to express the continued commitment of LWF to reaching out to those most in need in the world today. This will mean continuously stepping up our efforts to reach more people provide quality assistance to all victims of conflict, violence or displacement, and remain accountable for the resources that are entrusted to us. As a faith-based organisation, our motivation comes from seeing each human being as the face of God, unique, special and irreplaceable. Thank you all for being part of our efforts.